then. I it was a very, very brief visit to St Pancreas. It wasn't the main visit, it wasn't the main aim of the visit. But um, <clears throat> it was closed anyway, because I have to get here so early. Um, I had a little wander around for old time's sake. I managed to find the village, so that was good. Found the rising sun. I just took a few photos of it, obviously closed. And down through there, there was a gate back there. Or I might have got in in the past, or it might be a gap further up. Um, it's called Stout Lane. I think it goes on for quite a while. I'm expecting this to be one of the most demanding part of the whole walk. Although it looks quite steady, it might suddenly go up. I can't remember. I've got a feeling Crocom Minor Road is the worst. Crocom Minor Road. What I remember. That was really, that went like that. Yeah, that's probably a way through in there, look. Down through. Or it might be even further up that I got through. I didn't risk it today. I wanted to come from the bottom. Because I've just learned that the Stout Lane actually goes dead close to the pub. Dead close. Now what's that there? What's that? Ooh. Found a little, could be a little pen knife or something. We'll hold on to that. I'll put that in my bag in a minute. Just seen it lying there. Top peak. Yeah, I just found it on the floor. Could be a pen knife. Yeah, it's a treasure. Found treasure. Let's put it in the rucksack for a minute until I get the water out and then I'll swap. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna find, do you? What stuck out was the little yellow sign. And I have got, believe it or not, I know wear glasses, but I've actually got quite good hook eyes of picking mind small detail out and stuff from far away. I bet that could have rolled all the way down, see? In the mud and the rain. Fallen off somebody's belt. There's something that and lives in there. Fox probably. <sighs> Watched this good programme all about foxes last night. How they'd burrow into a wall like that. Another one there. Could be a badger even. In fact all that could be a badger set. Right, now the reason, another reason for the early start is because of this stout hill. Which is what I, what I can remember. I don't remember it being like Crocombe Lane. Uh, I remember it just being steady. Just plodding on and on. So, I didn't want to go a different route. Yeah, the way I got in before is because it's the peak of the summer, you can't see the way in this and this fresh barbed wire. But that is all um, a type of plantation there belonging to the manor house. It's like a private wood. 
and it backs right on to where I come out at the top. Now I haven't seen any fresh horse dung. Yeah, the next time I do this, I'll have to come again and I'll have to, uh, there was a way from that seven acres, there was a sign for the West Dean Way, but it's a good job I didn't, good job I done a little bit of map breathing last night. So I, wasn't, I didn't lose any time, not really. I had to stop here and there, get my breath back. <sighs> Look out for more treasure, Phil. Let's just climb up there a minute. Yeah, that looks like a way in as well. I was over there not long ago. Down there, that's where the... Um, we come over here. Yeah, there's the mansion. There's the mansion down through there, look. And uh, I was just round the back past that tree, and there's the the sort of spiny tree that was there before. I got pictures of that from the other side. So yes, this is a way, a way of coming up. Rather, But I wanted to go through the village there. I really wanted to find out the start of this walk. So we're just going to have a bit of a closer look. That's right, although they, there is an electric fence there, you'd have to negotiate that, because I expect they know about this, this here. Yeah, I'm going to turn off now and take a picture. Right, another, carrying on the video up Stout Lane. Just took some lovely images of the mansion and the church. Um, it's actually, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes from the time I got off the bus. I'm not quite sure what time the bus landed, but I reckon it was about eight. But down through there, there's a gate back there you could get in to get down into the field for the church. Like I was just saying, this, uh, <coughs> this is probably a <sighs> the hilliest part of the walk. Um, and I'm not quite sure how long it would take me. Because once I came down it, you see, to visit the church in the beginning, so quite a few years ago now, um, I must have had a van though. It must be in the last six or seven years. Because I would have come, unless I came when I had the other van, maybe it, it could have even been that long ago. Back 2006 to eight when I came over. It could have been a very um, early visit. Anyway, on the first time I came down and then up, I took, I did a lot of uh, images of the church on that first occasion. And I think I did on the second one, coming from Lydiard Hill, down that way. Lydiard Hill will be over there. Crocombe will be over there. Will's Neck and all those sort of areas further over. The Triscombe Stone. I've got at least nine to ten hours. But I don't really want to I don't really want to leave it to the very last bus just in case. So, I want to enjoy it, 
and I wanted to come out here now knowing I can get out here even without a vehicle that it's possible for me to visit this place we're going to have a look in both areas in a minute we'll look over here first yeah in here oh look at that little robin there's a path through the woods and over there it says no en entry danger horses oh that's weird maybe the horses are dangerous then some can be I'll just go and have a look anyway come on in case there's any more lockdowns or anything over winter I wouldn't be doing this walk in the winter because you need the light hours and I'm glad I started early I mean I left home at about ten past six no entry danger horses see there is another way up there's no entry. I bet that's a better way up, don't you? But it's no entry. Maybe they run horses up and down here. Don't worry, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do the original track. I'm going to do the original track. Onwards and upwards. Short videos which will be linked together. Over and out. Right folks, and I've just walked all the way up from down there. It's a nice steady plod. Obviously I walk, when you walk down it, it's uh, not always straightforward walking down a place. All the way down and all the way up and up and up and up. There's a little path down there, but this looks much better, nice and flat on the feet. Horse has been here not long ago. So it's a... Uh, I think it's the 28th of... Yeah, it's the 28th of August, 2000. And 21. We just go up this little bit and have a look. Don't think you'll be able to see anything though. That track's still going along there, which they don't want people to use. Look at all the moss on the tree trunk there. Yeah, it'd be a bit difficult getting down from there, so I'm not gonna. It might be a bit slippery, so uh, there might be other views a bit later on. I don't want to break anything at the stage. Oh. So this is quite a nice little bit. It's a Saturday and it's a bank holiday weekend. I've probably mentioned all that in the previous videos. There's always some a bit of hecticness in parts of my walks. If I ever slightly get lost or I take the wrong turn in and I have to do extra. Um, fortunately that didn't happen, I used my instinct. First of all I asked two joggers, they were on holiday, they weren't sure. They nearly sent me back the other way though. And then uh, I said no, I'll go and ask in here, I think it's up. Anyway, they were so kind, my instinct was right. It was to carry on going up, up the road. My in instinct was right. And basically, they came running back for me. They came back and said, Oh, we found the church for you. <laughs> they were very fit young people, both very slim, out on their run up. And they were up a hill all the time. That was, I really thanked them because I thought, How kind of you to run back. 
but I, my instinct had told me. I mean, I'd made a very crude map. <sighs> I don't like, to be quite honest, you do tend to remember and learn more when you do do it yourself. Always have a skeleton outline though, it's always good to have plan B. No, I mean, I wouldn't, in many ways I wouldn't mind one of those smartphones with a big screen. It would be handy really for lots of reasons. I might get one one day. Um, yeah, it probably would be handy. Especially if I go visiting cities and things. And, uh, to find my way around, you know. Although I use paper maps. I do find them useful. And then before I go any away anywhere, I research thoroughly before I go away. And even if I'm driving, I will thoroughly look at every roundabout to see exactly how many before I turn off and things like that. Because some roundabouts are very badly labelled. <coughs> you know, I usually do all that, find out where the parking areas are. But of course there's a spontaneous where you turn up somewhere and uh, you then have to do the footwork and find out the hard way. And sometimes that's not bad. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Right, it's flattening out. I don't reckon we're far now from the top, folks. I don't reckon we're far now. It's just something about it and it's getting lighter at the top. I won't say, oh, that's a...